what do you think about what it has been discussed until now? What do you think about the subject, first of all, the euro? I think it's very interesting. It's also very interesting to see that there are so many people with different backgrounds and even if you are are all liberals still have different opinions. Uh, I think it's also kind of funny to say, as you always see in Limerick events, that people from the north have more kind of a different opinion than people from the south, and just, uh, well, how the game actually works. I think it's a really important topic, especially now because of the crisis we are in, the situation with Greece. I think it's really important for us young liberals to think of a solution because it is true, we are, well, hopefully the new young leaders of the future. So it's very important to have these kind of events and to think about it in an active way. This is really a great idea because uh, a lot of people here are students and uh, they have um, different uh, opinions about uh, the crisis situation in Europe also the uh, education. It's really good to exchange some... Uh, and what do you think about the topic that we discussed about the the Europe? Uh, it, was uh, it was really interesting because uh, also Bulgaria also want to go in Euro, uh, Eurozone. Uh, they try, they think that we, we can be in Eurozone in uh, 2011, but now our government told us uh, maybe we'll be in 2013. Uh, uh, we just uh, heard about uh, plus and minus of, of uh, Eurozones. It was really interesting. First of all, it's very interesting to, uh, to do a conference about the Euro and the Eurozone uh, in this stage of the Euro. After uh, some 10 years old, it's, uh, it's interesting to evaluate and uh, this crisis uh, makes us evaluate it. So that's interesting. Um, I heard some uh, interesting things, uh, especially about uh, the Stability and Growth Pact. Uh, like everyone here, I think uh, we have to maintain these rules and follow the rules. And the, the, I think the conclusion is that uh, the big countries like Germany and France some years ago uh, they didn't follow the rules and uh, now they're very uh, strict on it and I think that gives uh, some problems with the more southern states who have a lot of debt and um, high budget deficits and it's interesting to to hear the views of the different uh, European uh, MEPs and uh, politicians of the youth organizations. My view on Euro is a more view of outsider, outside, uh, of course we are outside the Eurozone, uh, but uh, uh, for me, it was an experience uh, to hear from member of European Parliament about the euro, uh, not uh, just uh, basic things, uh, but uh, the, uh, but to hear about uh, discussion and debate uh, that uh, uh, is going on in the European Parliament and in, in its working groups uh, about the euro and. Uh, relations between uh, national banks, uh, national regula uh, regula regulatory units uh, and um, governments about Euro. I don't think that your own view is always the superior view of the best the best view. It's also very important to exchange ideas with other people because they might have some insights you haven't thought of by yourself and then you can think of, oh yes, that's also actually a very good way of approaching a kind of a problem. As I'm an international officer of my organization, uh, I know um, some, some people here already from uh, former um, um, conferences. Uh, but it's the first time that I'm going to conference uh, organized by Aldi. So there are also people from the Young Democrats of Europe and uh, it's interesting to, uh, to meet new people and exchange on, uh, on not only on Eurozone but also on, on, on domestic politics. And, uh, yes, it's very interesting.